Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a video on what to expect when you get a laparoscopy. Um, the very first thing, you know, that's going to happen when you're told you have to have one is you're going to have to go for some blood work. Um, I also, I think I said in one of my other videos, had to have a um, pap smear and everything done because I hadn't had one done in two years. Um, and that was pretty much it for like the pre uh, whatever testing. Then what you have to do, um, and again, this is just what I had to do, and um, I'm just going to focus on the, that part and not the gallbladder part, uh, you know, because I think more people, you know, trying to conceive obviously will be, uh, you know, interested in what happened with that part. So um, what I had to do is a, bo a bowel prep, which is where the day before the surgery, you have to drink um, this stuff, which makes you, which clears out your bowels. And honestly, that was one of the worst parts is drinking the stuff. Um, it's like it's uh, two liters worth of liquid. Um, it's a clear liquid, um, and they mine came. I guess there's different kinds. So you know, again, this is just what I uh, experienced. But mine came with a uh, flavor, uh, a couple different packets of some flavor. Like there was cherry, uh, lemon, lime pineapple I think and one more I don't know I picked the cherry um, I don't really know what it tasted like without it but it really didn't make it any better in my opinion it's it's horrible stuff um, and what I tried to do the way it works is um, the bowel prep begins you take two pills I think it was two, two pills. Quirky. you take two pills um, and that makes you go to the bathroom the first time as soon as you go to the bathroom and that happens like an hour or two later as soon as you go to the bathroom, then you have to begin drinking the stuff. Um, and the way you drink the stuff is you drink eight ounces every 10 to 20 minutes. Um, I think my doctor had also said if you couldn't, for some reason, get it down because it is very, very bad um, every 10 minutes, then you could um, drink it like more every half hour. I just wanted to get it done, so I did try to do it right every 10 minutes. And it's not... I mean, it's doable. I don't want it to sound like it's horrible. I mean, it's bad. But um, what it tastes like is it's very, very salty. It's kind of like you're drinking salt water. So you have like a gag reflex. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. My doctor also prescribed anti-nausea medicine, which I don't think a lot of doctors do. So that is an option. It was just a pill I dissolved under my tongue like a half hour before I began the, bo the bowel prep. So, um... I drank it, and I, what I did is I just tried to basically chug it. I put it in the glass, and I tried to just, you know, not... The first time I did it, I drank a little bit, put it down, drink, and I didn't... That's... I don't recommend that. Because the initial drinking is what is, you know, making you try to gag. So if you just start and finish all in one thing, you don't have that initial time each time. So, um, you know, that lasts... The two liters drinking eight ounces every uh, ten minutes or so lasts just a little over an hour. Um, and then, like... And it was a couple hours, maybe like an hour after that, that you start going to the bathroom. And once you start, you don't stop. I mean, you just keep going and going and going. Um, I even ended up going all night um, up until like, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so. And then a little bit in the morning still. But that was by far the worst part. Um, and then I got to the hospital. And this is one thing that kind of made me a little bit mad. Because after you do this, and you know, you can't eat or drink anything after, my doctor said 10 o'clock the night before. So, um, you know, you don't have any water or anything. And then my surgery was initially, I was supposed to be there at 11.30. He got held up because whatever he was doing with the patient before me, he got, um, ran into some problems or whatever and ended up being way longer. So I didn't end up having to be to the hospital until... 12 o'clock, I think, where initially I was supposed to be there at like 10.30. So, um, I got there and the lady put the, uh, like a urine specimen cup up on the counter and said she needed to do a pregnancy test. Well, I didn't know what it was for, but that's what it turned out to be for. And I said, you know, I have absolutely nothing left. Um, you know, you're on that stuff which completely cleans you out and then you don't have anything to drink or anything. You know, I had nothing. She goes, well, then we're just going to have to draw blood. Whatever, it's fine. You know, I'm not... You know, I don't love needles, but I'm not, you know, scared of them or anything. So then the lady came in to draw my blood. And, you know, my biggest thing is this. First of all, if they needed to do a pregnancy test, they should have done it the day before or two days before when I had blood work done for this. Instead of having it be 
um, you know, 12 different times that they have to prick me, but whatever. So the lady comes in, she can't get blood out of me, and I said, you know what, what is this for? And she told me it was for a pregnancy test. And I said, you know, uh, can I refuse that? You know, I, I don't want to have you stick me five times and not be able to get blood. I'm sorry, hold on. Oh, okay. So, um, so then, um, she said, well, I've talked to nurses. The nurse came out and she goes, well, you know, some anesthesiasts, or anesth ana whatever the hell the people are called, they won't even, you know, do anesthesia without you having this, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, you know, I know I'm not pregnant. This is kind of why I'm here. She goes, well, and I said, besides that, I had just had my period, like, the day before that had stopped. And she said, well, you know, sometimes people have their period, and I, yeah, I don't. You know, I don't ovulate. That's my problem, you know. I don't ovulate without medication. I'm not pregnant. Well, whatever. Then my gallbladder doctor came in, and he copped a wicked attitude with me because I was having a problem. But then one nurse came in because they had to do an IV, and she goes, well, why can't we just get the blood out of the IV? Why don't they think of these things? I mean, is there really a need to poke people and poke people and poke people? I mean, she goes, well, it doesn't always work. And okay, if it doesn't work, then go ahead and stick me again. But don't just stick me before, you know, it just, but whatever. So then they come in, they do the IV, and they start, um, you know, some kind of like sugar water or whatever. And um, then they came in with Celebrex, which is um, like an anti-inflammatory. I took two pills of that. They also gave me a shot in the stomach of heparin, which is a, um, a blood thinner so that it helps you to not clot afterwards. And then um, the fertility doctor requested, and again, I don't know if every doctor does this, but my doctor did that I had a warming blank blanket on beforehand, which was just a blanket they put over you, and it's got like a tube that goes into it that pumps warm air in. And I guess that was just because, I forget what they said, that he prefers to do that because... I forget why, a circulation or something, I don't know. And then, of course, they also, for circulation, put those um, medical stockings on you that help your, um, you know, just up to the knee that help your blood circulate. Um, all that happened, and they waited for the test to come back for the pregnancy, and the nurse came in, copped another attitude with me, and I was so happy that um, after all this, just uh, two days ago in the mail, I got a survey, so I, I filled it out and sent it back. She came in, she goes, no, all we would have needed was four drops of urine for the pregnancy test. Well, four drops is more than you have when you have no drops. So, you know, four drops or not, you, I had none. Whatever. Um, but then, um, you know, both doctors came in and spoke with me. The anesthesiologist came in and spoke with me. You know, they asked all kinds of questions. If you've had any problems, what other surgeries you've had, you know, what medications you take, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then... Um, after a while, we were in there for maybe like an hour, you know, the pregnancy test came back. Oh, surprise, it was negative. And uh, then um, then the person that was going to administer the anesthesia came in and put um, whatever in my um, IV, you know, that kind of makes you loopy or whatever. They wheeled me off into the OR, um, and they give you, you know, whatever to make fall asleep. <laughs> And I'm going to stop it right there, and then I'll stop with the post, or start with the post stop. Okay?